This is Brittany with Speedboat Magazine. I'm here with the entire Outer Limits team on this beautiful, what does this say, 46? Correct. But um, I've got Steve here, Paul, Dan, and Jason with Outer Limits, and uh, we'll take it away from there. So go ahead and tell us about this beautiful machine we have here. So this is a uh, brand new SC46 cat uh, we built for one of our very good customers, Burton and Yvette Kirsten out of Michigan. Uh, the whole boat is all carbon fiber. It's a full canopy boat with all carbon fiber composite roll bars. Uh, it's got the Mercury Racing 1100-1350 package, which is just incredible on this boat. It's got custom uh, cutting-edge interior. They're out of Missouri. They do all our upholstery work um, as of late, and they're absolutely incredible uh, with some ultra leathers and Alcantara. Uh, abundance of Garmin's, uh, underwater lights, all the crazy LED lights. Uh, it's got a custom trailer from Adrenaline Trailers out in Lake Havasu, kind of Bob's territory out there. And, um, you know, the thing's a runner. Uh, Steve Curtis over here to my left has been uh, testing and dialing it in and it's, uh, it runs real, real well. So we're excited for it. That's what's nice about a cat. I mean, you don't have to be an expert to get it to go 140, 150. You know, the V-bottom going 150, you've really got to know what you're doing. And well, that's, a, that's a good point, Paul, but, but you know, the thing is, is uh, um, because that a boat can go 150 or maybe top speed on this one in the 170 range, the cruise speed is relaxing, you know, at 100 miles an hour, uh, your, your heart, you know, you're not stressing things out, uh, the boat's efficient at that speed, uh, you got great visibility and everything else, and, uh, you know, I think that's more what it's about, um, rather than, you know, how fast does it go, I mean, you let people always say how fast, how much, right? right. <laughs> okay, so how much? Uh, this one, you know, if you wanted to get something, you know, equipped very similar to this, you know, with the package and the paint and the trailer, you know, you're uh, you're right in between, you know, a million and two million. So, so Steve, tell us about how the boat handles. Well, yeah, this boat is like the third in the line. Um, it's slightly different. We took a little bit of lift out of the tunnel, so it, it runs a little flatter. It's a really super running boat. We're turning this inboard, talking a bit techie here. I know you'll understand that, um, but. So it's very trimmable. It's a super running boat with the the speeds we we we're hoping to see it at about max speed about 170, um, you know. But you can cruise in this at any speed. We came down here a couple of days ago. We we're running anywhere from 30 miles an hour. Pops up on plane at about 24, 25 miles an hour, and it just runs through without a porpoise, without a hop. Really stable. Ran it here in a strong crosswind in the mid 140s. So it's a super stable running boat. You've been involved in boat racing and all that for years, so you've had the pleasure of running very many different brand boats. How does an Outer Limits, how does it set itself apart from everything else that you've ran? Well, this this is actually originated as a Mike Peters design, very close to a Mike Peters design hull, which is the same hull that I run with the Miss Geico team. So they're pretty similar. I mean, they run very similarly when you run them. And, you know, we're running the same sort of power units as well. All right? We're slightly down on what we run in the race boats. So that the handling similar, it's like getting a race boat and we've just softened, the, softened it a little bit so it's not quite so aggressive, not quite so hairy, it's a little bit more controllable. So, but you certainly get the feel when you run this hard like you're, like you're running a race boat. <laughs> you got to say something for yourself. What's happening Bob? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing man? <laughs> He's been sitting back here like not saying anything. That's, that's scary. And so, wow, just watching some uh, yeah, true legends here. And yeah, so, so, sport, you know? so uh, where, where are you, what's your take on this? What's your, what's your uh, involvement? It's unbelievable to be a part of Outer Limits now. I mean, I've known Paul and Danny now for at least uh, six years. Right. Um, now, you know, now that Brian uh, McLaughlin is sole owner right. of Outer Limits and uh, Jason Bourne is also involved too. So now being down there, I'll be the operations manager, which will allow Dan now to really focus on sales and, you know, the, the, the details of uh, working with the inner workings of the customers, and I can now we'll get these boats out of the shop in a nice streamlined fashion, you know. So now you're the guy my people need to talk to. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. there you go. See, so never mind you guys. I got it right here. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, thank you again to the Outer Limits crew. Be sure to stay tuned to Speedboat Magazine and PowerboatNation.com as we bring you more coverage as far as what Outer Limits has in store for 2019. And stay tuned to see more from the 2019 Miami Boat Show.